care of your cootie cat. You know, you and your cootie cat are like, that's like your best friend, okay? <laughs> in a moment and i'm back with another video today's video is going to be based on hygiene specifically shaving anyone who has hit puberty should know that we grow hair in areas such as our armpits our pubic areas and you know things of that nature when i was younger I didn't really get a talk like, oh, Hannah, you're gonna get hair down there. I did not get that talk. I just remember one day I went in the bathroom and I just seen hair. Like I wasn't really paying attention, but one day I just went in the bathroom and I seen hair. It was weird to me, you know? So I wanna be here and help anyone out there who hasn't got the talk or people who don't have any idea on shaving interested in shaving because not everyone shaves but i want to be the one to help y'all with that topic that situation you feel me the first point is why do we grow pubic hair well we hit puberty the level of testosterone in our bodies um it rises testosterone is a sex hormone that helps with um the development of our muscles helps with our energy and also our sex drive so because our sex drive you know our sex hormone rises it triggers off something in our body to let us produce and grow hair in our area and our armpits why should we shave personally i shave but I know others don't shave um, for religious reasons, for personal reasons, but I shave. I feel like when you don't shave, and I know from my own experience, because sometimes I don't have the time to shave, because shaving takes time. And when I allow hair to build and grow up down there, it produces an odor that I do not get when I do shave. It's not like a crazy like oh my god what the hell odor but it's like it's an odor that you, that's not nice it's not cute and having hair down there makes room for bacteria to you know live and stay there and you don't want to give bacteria a home in your area you don't want that you want your area to be happy and smiling and nice but for the people out there that feel the need to not shave, you don't have to have an odor down there or you don't have to get, because I know you can get hair lights down there and all that stuff. For the people out there that do not shave, you know, respects to y'all, you know, great. But as, if you're not shaving, at least make sure you're washing down there thoroughly, get everything, all the dirt and debris out. Because people that do want to shave i'm going to explain to you guys how to shave and do's and don'ts and tips and tricks i do advise that you guys shave because you know it's just nice to have a nice smooth armpit and cootie cat and you know not sweat and feel funky tip number one have the right shaving cream don't just go down there and shave dry and without any type of thing to make the, the razor glide because you're going to cut yourself you're going to end up with razor bumps you're going to end up with um irritation and you just don't want that for yourself so make sure you guys have the right shaving cream personally i use um mane and tails conditioner or suave suave yeah suave and or any conditioner that i'm using at the moment in my hair i use it down there if it's not heavily scented or if i don't have conditioner nearby i use um soap and you know set it up and just let the razor glide we're gonna talk about how to properly and correctly shave though or you could use shaving cream or gel i've never used 
yeah i don't i've never purchased or used shaving cream or gel i just use conditioner and or soap um because that works perfectly fine for me and i don't feel like spending extra money to you know shave when something's already working well for me tip two use the right razor okay guys when it comes to your hair when it comes to your hygiene don't be cheap don't be dirty don't be lazy use the right things okay when i first ever shaved i had no idea how to shave i just did not want the hair down there and i just picked up something that i thought would help me and this is what i use guys this is what i used and down there was dry okay i was probably like 11 12 but i used this don't use that don't use that that is not it okay this is the next thing that i discovered and tried to use i would say you could use this for your armpit because personally i don't get razor bumps or anything under my armpit when i use this but these are the cheap razors don't use these okay these are not good these are not your friend these are not your vagina your boob crack it's not they're not friends they're enemies okay don't use it because the blade isn't sharp enough and the angle just isn't good and cheap razors cause hair bumps irritation and things of that nature so don't use this i use gillet it's like a men razor i think they have female razors this is how it looks this is an old blade so please don't judge but this is the razor that i use gillet and you can remove the blade and put on a new blade and you know it works nicely the blades is, is way different i'm going to show you the setup of the cheap razor compared to the good razor okay this cheap razor has two blades and this razor has like about i'm not gonna sit and count but it has about five blades in it and the angle is way different than the cheap blade so just the appearance shows you that there's a major difference yes invest in a good razor because that will change the feel of your skin and everything will make a big difference also if you use your razor at least five times change it after because i don't know if y'all know but this there's like usually this little bar i think it produces like some type of gel to make the razor um glide but change your razor because that wears this the the sticky bar part thing thing i don't know what it's called after a while it gets worn out and it's just not good anymore and i'm sure the blade gets dull after a point so yeah tip number three and i feel like a lot of people because i personally i never used to do this when i first started shaving so i feel like a lot of people forget this step have a moisturizer or oil to put down there after you shave <clears throat> i like to use shea butter or coconut oil down there or like a unscented lotion you know don't put it in your coochie or you know don't do that but you know put it on the, like the top and like the sides and stuff so you don't get a dry area or you know, you want there to feel nice and soft. So moisturize after you shave, that will help. And also, I'm sure it protects you from getting like those little bumps and stuff. Personally, I don't like before when I wasn't putting anything down there until when I did start putting things down there, like oil and moisturizer, it was way better than when I wasn't moisturizing. So I advise that you guys have don'ts so i probably already said some of these don'ts but i'm going to repeat them again do not shave your area when it is dry okay 
that is not good that is not nice that does not feel good yeah it does not feel good so you shouldn't even want to do that try to be make down there be as moisturized as possible do not put heavily scented products shaving creams anything down there because that's everyone you even if you don't shave everyone should know that putting females especially should know that putting heavily scented products near our vagina in our vagina anything in what not even in but near our vagina is not good for it and will throw off your ph balance do not rush to shave do not rush to shave your area do not rush to shave your area take your time take your time our vaginas are delicate our armpits are delicate anywhere that you sh our skin in general is delicate it's skin okay it's not bored it's not concrete it's skin so you gotta be delicate and gentle with your area because you rush 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 and you shave 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 and then boom you bleeding 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 because you did not want to take time on your area so don't rush another don't is do not shave in different motions and directions because that will that that causes ingrown hairs okay don't shave in every which way like you the um disney wand like you can't do that you gotta or you know shave nicely shave gently shave in one motion my last don't is avoid wearing tight clothes, especially after you shave. Because I've done this in the past. A lot of these tips that I'm giving to you guys, not all of them, but a lot of them I have done in the past and it wasn't a good outcome. So please listen to what I'm telling y'all. Don't wear tight clothes after you shave. And even in general, it's not good for down there, okay? Don't wear tight clothes after you shave because that is another factor to why you get ingrown hairs wearing tight clothes. If you wear tight clothes, you're not giving that, you know, particular area wherever you shave time or the, the air and the space for the hair to grow. And it makes sense. So don't wear tight clothes. Try to wear, you know underwear that's airy or like like that has air and gives your vagina air to breathe and that does not feel comfortable like wearing tight clothes especially after you shave you know just take care of your cootie cat you know you and your cootie cat are like that's like your best friend okay and you have to take care of it you gotta show it love you gotta show it care you gotta show it affection show it that you care you wouldn't want anybody to have you trapped up tight in some tight piece of fabric or some clothes you know you want air so let your cootie cat breathe let it live let it be free free the cootie cat no don't do that but y'all know what i mean anyways guys this is the end of my shaving 101 video like comment share and most of all subscribe okay please subscribe and especially if y'all want more videos y'all want more content y'all want to know when i upload subscribe and turn on the post notification bells to be alerted when i do post okay guys and dm comment any ad any videos any content that y'all want me to post and give y'all opinion on this video and y'all advice like you know added on opinion or any secrets or tips that you guys have concerning shaving okay guys so bye <laughs> Show me